Glenelgan Port had to wait an extra day before this year's preliminary final as the game was being played on a Sunday for the first time and being shown live to Melbourne through Channel 7. Ironically, it rained on Sunday, one of the very few wet afternoons for football in 82, but that didn't stop a big crowd enjoying a dramatic match. There hasn't been any love lost between these two teams since an incident in the 1981 Grand Final. Port had dominated Glenelgan the big games in recent years. They appeared to have their measure. But the 1982 Tiger was a determined one. Glenelgan led 10-6 to 4-4 late in the second term and were on their way to a big win. Port Adelaide's David Granger was reported within a minute of running onto the ground. In a third quarter that was full of incident, Glenelg's Stephen Barrett suffered a broken leg. David Granger gave away a number of free kicks, but Port clawed their way back. In a dramatic finish, Glenelg finally overcame their nemesis, winning by a point. Ebert now tackled and not in possession, just knocking the ball down in front of him. Phillips and Weston, Carey didn't hold it for long, picked up some important kicks around that centre. Knocked off by Kernahan. Weston can't get a good bounce. He's got some skills, though. And that is skill. Left foot by Williams. Evans on a lead. Frost at the back. Glenelga full forward. Carey behind. Bodying out. Takes the ball. And kicks the goal. In the scramble as Eckerman knocks it out. Sewer showing a burst of pace. Long and strong to the goal square. It's straight. And it's a goal. Glenelg in full flight, Bruce. Long drop punt, 10th kick. Weston, Goss, splendid mark. Granger underneath it, thumped it on cleverly. Here's a chance for Johnston. Great tackle by Frost, holding the ball. Maynard, Belton at the back. Belton kept his balance. Corns are still with him, Huppets with a chance. That's a magnificent goal, Bruce. Oh, what a great goal. High in the air towards Evans. It's a magnificent kick. Evans from behind, off hands. Scouting on there, Belton for a goal, Port Adelaide 7-4, Glenelg 10-7. And Huppets read it well, then threw it almost to Granger. Granger broke McFarlane's tackle, then put up the elbow and collected Maynard, and Maynard will take a free kick. Greg Phillips to half forward. Cords in position. Granger, just... Des Foster didn't see it. Granger just with a beautiful round arm left. This is a little heat out of play. Corns can't believe that Des Foster didn't see it. Bradley, Port Adelaide now to full forward. Frost with first run at the ball. Spoils it away to Cunningham. Cunningham on his left foot. One of his favourite snapshots. And Port Adelaide is still hanging in there. Into the goal square, Evans setting himself. I think he's got it. it. Corns underneath it, he missed it. One of his few errors, but Granger's got the run of it. Can't pick it up. Power will get a free kick. He just kicked him over then, I feel. See it in replay. There's a replay. Just kicked him over. Is that Stephen Barrett coming off on a stretcher, Bruce? After that incident. Last year's grand final was held up. In the first quarter for a similar length of time when Neville Caldwell was carried off the ground. It's an emotional moment at Football Park. Bradley and also Painter. Painter did very well. Marshall tapped it on cleverly to McGuinness. McGuinness on his wrong side, but he's strong with the right foot. That's a long kick. The bounce might have beaten Hughes. It's a goal. It's 12-10 to 11-4 and McGuinness has got two goals. Granger and Corns. Gee, Granger got one in the back there, not paid. The umpire allows it to play on. And Port Adelaide through Bradley now. Long and in towards Frost. Granger pushes Frost down the road, then picks the ball up and kicks it high into the air. McFarlane from behind. And Harris marks the ball. Johnston. And Johnston marks the ball and converts. One point the difference. Into the outer side of the ground. Holst with an opportunity. He's pushed in the back and the umpire doesn't play a free. Back towards Huppets. He's in everything. Huppets short. Belton. Belton gives it across to Ebert. McInerney tackles him. Well done, Peter McInerney. And painted a half forward. Weston underneath it with Phillips. Carey with the base score here. They'll win it. 
Carey thumps it to the boundary line and it'll be a ball in. So the two sides that have already had the draw in the competition this year are a point the difference. It's 14-5 to 13-12. 29 and a half minutes gone. Is at the end of three premierships in a row for John Cale and Port Adelaide. Phillips over the top. Cunningham. Weston. Still with it is Weston. And the siren is sounded. And the Bays are in the grand final. They've won by a point. 13-12-90. Port Adelaide 14-5-89. And Glenelg have beaten Port for the first time in the final series for eight years at Football Park. What a finish, what a game, what an incredible atmosphere there was at Football Park that Sunday afternoon for the preliminary final between Glenelg and Port Adelaide.